Hey, what's going on everyone? This is David with A Tech for Android. Um, today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial video on an application called Ivy. Um, it's basically a sidebar and it has widgets built into it and RSS feeds. Um, so I'm going to show you exactly how this works. Stay tuned. everybody um so what you need to do is go to google play store um in my intro video go ahead and download the application um if you guys missed it all you gotta do is go to google play store and type in ivy and um, you can add sidebar widget rss etc to it to find it um once you go ahead and do that um go ahead and open up the application now this might look a little confusing to some but in all actuality it's really not um the first thing you want to do is get to know your application understand what it can do and give you a quick rundown um, if you are at your home screen of the application and you use gestures to open it up I'm gonna slide to the right with my finger on the bar and it opens up your sidebar here now you can have it on the bottom where it has your RSS feeds like so and you can have either technology world news etc now it does um, also have a built-in clock which I disabled um, but I will show you that real quick just to give you an idea what it looks like now if you go down here where it says clock it says it's disabled just go ahead and re-enable that go ahead and go to your home screen and do the gesture again to open up the app and you will see the clock on the top right side at 401 Monday January 16th 2017 um, I kind of really didn't like the clock there because it was interfering with the widget in my home screen so I went ahead and just deactivated that but um, when you open up the application, you're going to see mainly is all this. And I'm going to show you exactly how to work this so you won't get confused and get upset because you can't figure it out. Um, I had to do this on my own. I tried looking at this application on YouTube through other channels. It was maybe 30 to 45 second video. They didn't really go into details about the app. So that's what I'm going to do for you guys. So the first thing you want to do is when you open this up, go ahead and enable the quick panel. Um, on the background color, you can select to any of your choosing, but I went ahead and did it kind of like a little dark slash um, clear, you know, transparent look. Um, now you can have a shortcut to IV on your desktop. You can show shortcuts to your widgets or you, you can enable your app drawer. There is an actual app drawer built into Ivy and it's exactly like the Pixel um, app drawer. So you can go ahead and enable this and do your settings however you want. After you get done doing that, just go ahead and go back into your main settings again. Now when it says handle settings, the left or the right, that basically means it's just the bar that you see right here that's transparent that opens up the sidebar. That's basically what that is. So if you were to click on it, you can go ahead and drag it to its height. You can drag it to its width, transparency, whatnot. Um, accessibility services recommended. So you want to go ahead and turn that on as well. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Where it says persistent notification. Um, it gives the Android certain uh, grant services and able to use this app 110%. Um, so it's entirely up to you if you want to enable that or whatnot. But if you don't want the handle position on the left, you can just easily click right here where it says handle position and you can click on the right or the left. Um, doesn't even give you any other options but that. Um, once you get done doing that, just go ahead and go back into your main settings and you want to go into where it says ribbon settings. Now ribbon settings is right here, so you want to go ahead and click on it and um, turn this back on, sorry. Um, now the ribbon position is going to be the same equivalent to um, the settings of the handle. So you can either choose left or right, background color, same scenario. Um, go back into main settings. Now the app settings here, you can um, use this plus button down here and hit add apps or add a shortcut. Now, if you wanna add apps, just hit add apps and whatever's on your device that you have built, you know, uh, downloaded will be in here. So you can, you know, use any of these boxes as far as settings, calendar, um, crackle, whatever you want. So once you make your selections, go ahead and hit okay. Now you can rearrange these in order however you like. Um, so enable to do that, just hold on right here and you can just bring it up 
and you can move it around to your liking. Um, once you do that, just go ahead and go back into your main settings again, into clock, which I just showed you already. Now the RSS feed is pretty cool. Um, so once you click that, it's gonna ask you like, what RSS feeds do you wish to choose to be shown when opening up the sidebar? If you go into the settings here, you can also have it where it's refresh every 15 minutes. You can change the background color of the RSS feeds, the scroll speed speeds, you can do normal, fast, and whatnot. Um, and the feed change options, you can do manual, open to the next feed, or open to random feed. So I went ahead and just hit manual, basically. Um, so when you go back into the items and you hit the plus down here, this is gonna be your category to what your choosings are when it comes to your RSS feeds when opening up the sidebar. So you got news tech, sports entertainment custom uh, feed so once you choose your selection just go ahead and I did tech and then uh, it'll load up for you and then you can choose from Android 30 CNN Gizmodo Lifehacker etc I went ahead and just did Android Authority and did hit OK now once you get to the RSS feeds go back to the main settings and this is where you can add widgets into the actual app so you go into your widgets you can go ahead and enable. I went ahead and just selected Appy Geek. So in order to do this, you will go into your settings, um, select your background style, background color, animation duration, and override minimum height. You can do those options as well. But when you go into the items, you want to go in to swipe up to view. I'm sorry, swipe to view, sorry. So pretty much when you open up the app, you can swipe and then you'll have it. I'll show you how to do that too. But on the bottom right here, where you see three lines, click on that. And then you can actually move the widget to the left, move the widget to the right, delete widget or add a widget. So let's delete this widget so I can show you how to do this correctly. So you just add a widget here. And then you can go through your um, widgets displays to show you what you want to be added. So I'm just gonna do the Google Play Stand. And once you get done doing that, just go ahead and leave Adder there and you can go back into your main settings. And if you have any questions or uh, whatever you need, uh, frequently asked questions about this application right and right settings about right here, you can go ahead and hit the help button and you can go into the app settings of Ivy and you can have it where it boots up automatically when you turn on your device. There's a night mode also for this, we choose night mode. It takes you into this, which is pretty cool as well. Um, the version, code, donate, whatnot. Um, so once we get all of our settings up and running the way we like it, you can take this and you can just put it away into a folder somewhere. And so um, you can go ahead and swipe it like so. You have your RSS feed, you got your clock, you got your sidebar with your apps that you've chosen. You don't necessarily have to have the sidebar transparent. You can have it to a solid color, um, like I showed you how to. Now, if you don't like the actual uh, transparency of the sidebar um, handle, you can always turn that off under transparency. If you go back into your settings, go back into handle settings, you can go where it says handle transparency, which is right here, and you can flush it all the way off so you don't have to see it. Um, once you get done doing that, just go ahead and hit your home button right here. And once you do so, just swipe it and it opens back up. So as you can see, it's not visible in this area. It's completely transparent. So um, I hope you guys liked this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, other than that, guys, if you have any questions, uh, just leave it uh, in the uh, comments box. I will leave the link of this application in the description box below if you're interested check it out um other than that guys thanks for watching and i will see you guys on friday for the next video peace